What is going on guys, welcome to this video. In today's episode, we're going to build a simple hangman game in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so I don't think that I need to explain the basic hangman rules to you. Essentially, you have a word and this word could be something like secret, for example. And what you can do as a player is you can uh, guess some letters. So you can say, I guess that the letter E is inside of this word. Uh, and then, you know, when, when this is true, as in this case it is, uh, all the, so essentially you start with something like that, S E C R E T. You start with uh, a bunch of underlines. And then when you guess E, for example, you get E here and E here, and then you can guess again. And of course you have a maximum uh, amount of allowed mistakes because after that you've lost and otherwise you can guess the word. And this is what we're going to implement here, a very basic game. And for this, we're going to have a word. Why did I delete that? I don't know. Let's say secret is the word. And we're just going to always print what we already know about the word. So the letters that we have already found and also how many uh, allowed fails we have, so to say. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the allowed errors to um, seven, for example, you can choose that number. Usually you have to go at least with six. Uh, some go with eight, some go with 10. You can do whatever you want. Of course, 26 would be trivial because then you would have, uh, you would be allowed to go through all the letters of the alphabet. Uh, but seven is a pretty good number, I think here. And then we're going to create an empty list uh, called guesses. And this list is going to have all the letters that we have already guessed here. And then we're also going to have a Boolean, which is called done. And we're going to use this to control the while loop here. So we're going to say while not done, uh, we're going to play the game. And the game is essentially that we're going to say for every letter in the word that we have, we're just going to say if this letter lowercase is in the guesses. So if it was already guessed, we're going to say, we're going to print uh, the letter. And we're going to say end equals uh, blank. So it doesn't do a line break here, but it just does a space so that we don't start a new line because otherwise we would have all the individual letters in separate lines. Um, and if it's not guessed, we're just going to print an underscore instead. So if it's not guessed, we're going to print this here again with a space as a blank. And once we're done with the full word, we're going to just print a new line like this. So this is essentially just so that we see uh, the representation already. So we can actually go ahead and uh, let me just set done to true in the end so that it doesn't go into an endless loop here. Uh, but essentially, if I have already guessed an E, for example, and an R, uh, it would print the word like that. So we we can see uh, the representation with the E's and the R's already in place here. So this is the basic idea here. And whenever we guess a word, uh, whenever we guess a letter, we're just going to append it to guesses. <clears throat> All right, so um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get some guesses here. So we're going to say guess input. And we're going to ask for an input here. But here we're also going to say allowed errors uh, left. And we're going to print the allowed errors. And then next guess. So this is how we ask for the next guess. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we say guesses dot append. And we're going to append all of them in lowercase, of course, because we're also comparing them, them in lowercase. Uh, we're actually printing the, the letter. So if we ask for s, we're going to get a, uh, an upper an uppercase s printed to the console line. Uh, but we're not going to have to enter an uppercase S or we're not going to have to um, to check for an uppercase S. We're going to check for a lowercase. So basically we're ignoring the case, but we're still going to print the right case. Um, that's it. So we say guess.lower is what we're going to attempt uh, to append, sorry. And we're going to say if guess.lower is not in word.lower, so if the guest, if the guest letter is not part of the word, we're just going to say allowed errors minus equals one. And if allowed errors equals zero, we're going to break out of the while loop without setting 
the variable done to true. So we're going to break out of the loop without this variable being true. By the way, we're going to delete this here because of course it's not true. Um, and once we have done that, if we if we get past this point, so if we don't reach the uh, if if we don't uh, do as many errors as it takes to get to zero, we're going to say done equals true, which means that we assume that we have already found the word until we are proven uh, otherwise, until it's proven otherwise. So we're going to say full letter in word. If you find a letter lower that is not in guesses, so if there's any letter in the word that is not part of the guesses, uh, then we're going to say done equals false, and we're going to repeat the whole loop. Otherwise, we're going to break out of the loop, of course, because done stays true. And in the end, uh, when we're outside of that loop, we have two scenarios, either we've broken out of the loop with this break statement here, or we stop the loop because done is true. And we're going to check for those two cases, we're going to say if done, we're going to say print f you found the word, it was word. And otherwise, if we broke out of it, we're going to say print you or actually, let's say game over the word was worked. So actually, that should be it, we can go ahead and run this now. And what you can see here is we get uh, the six positions here. And now we can ask, for example, for a u, which is not part of it. So we can see allowed errors left six, next guess, and now I can go for an e, for example, and you can see, okay, we have the two e's here. Uh, and now I can say, I don't know, L, and I get to five, and I can say S, and I can say C, and I can say R, and I can say T. And then it says, you found the word, it was secret. However, if for example, I enter you, 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 game over, the word was secret. So this is how Hangman basically works. So now we're going to add a little extra functionality to our script. And for this, we're going to import the random module. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have a word list.txt file with a bunch of words. And we're going to have the script choose a random word from that word list instead of us defining it statically up here. So in this case, I already have this word list here 25 words, not much, you can download one from the internet or write your own. I just chose 25 words that have something to do with computer science or learning or something. Um, and you know, you can just go ahead, open up a text file and enter new words, separate them by new lines, because then we can use the read lines function uh, from the file streams. And once you have that, what you're going to do is we're going to say with open the word list .txt file in reading mode, as f, we're going to say words, possible words is f dot read lines and read lines separates all the individual words by new lines. So we get a list of all the words separated by the new line tag. Um, and instead of saying word dot uh, or word equals secret here, we're going to say word equals random dot choice from the words list. Uh, the only thing that we need to do here is we need to cut off the last character because the last character when you use the, uh, when you use the read lines function is actually a backslash n. So we need to say up until minus one, and then we get the word without uh, the backslash n at the end. So this is how you choose the word. And I think the rest should be the same. Uh, one more thing that we could add here, uh, or actually, let's see if it does that. Oh, it does that already. So we don't need to do it. Um, so right now we have some word from that list, and we don't know what it is. So we can go ahead and try E, A, I, O, U. Okay, uh, you what could it be? I don't know. Uh, I forgot about oh my you oh, Ubuntu probably. There you go. The word was Ubuntu. So this is how you could do it. You just create a word list with some words in here. And then you can play around with your own script. You can also download one if you want to play it. Uh, but that's how you build a basic hangman script in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel in order to see more future videos for free. And if you don't want to miss a video, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.